Good morning, everyone. So we have another big news from IRCC this morning. Um, IRCC has plans of giving us serious um, heart problems, but um, <laughs> all right. So the news today is that IRCC, I don't know how many of you know, but since August 20, 2020, there was a policy in place for visitors uh, that they could convert their status to a worker while staying in Canada. If I explain in simple terms, and what it really means is that visitors during COVID, because of travel restrictions, uh, when, couldn't travel back and forth. So IRCC gave them that option that if you're here and you can't go back um, and you find a job offer, then you know you can apply for a work permit while staying inside Canada. And when you submit that application, it will automatically give you implied status, which means you could stay until the decision of the application. Um, the policy was extended, it received another extension, and finally it was set to expire on February 28th, 2025, next year. But today, in um, an attempt to give us a heart attack, uh, IRCC abruptly ended that policy today. So visitors in Canada no longer will be able to convert their status at to worker while staying inside Canada. Now, if I explain in simple terms, that means that let's say you're here as a visitor. You can still apply for a work permit if you get a, a, an LMI supported job or an LMI exempt job, but that application has to be submitted outside Canada. So instead of using the 5710 form, you will have to use the IMM1295 form, which is a form that, uh, that that tells that the application is made outside Canada. And when you submit that application, you no longer get implied status. So you still have to make another application to extend your visitor stay in Canada or another status in Canada. But submitting an application will no longer grant you um, a, an implied status. This is what it means in, in legal terms. But I know um, after this news, there's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, uh, like, um, videos on TikTok. Oh, now visitors cannot apply for work permits inside Canada and all of that. So while yes, the policy is ended, it's ended as of today. Uh, any application that was submitted before August 28th will still be processed as inside Canada applications starting 28th August, no longer will be treated as inside Canada applications. So make sure if you're submitting your application, you're a visitor and you're submitting a work permit application today, it has to be submitted uh, as an outside Canada application and then it is your responsibility to make sure that you are maintaining your temporary resident status in Canada which means you have to extend your uh, visitor status um, as and when it expires. So yeah that's the news for today. If you have any more questions in regards to this policy or in general about your status please book a consultation with us and we're happy to help you. Have a lovely day everybody.